Learning that Georgia's Division of Family and Child Services was called to the home of a one year old little girl less than 24 hours before she was found dead in a pond. Her mother now charged with murder. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates has been digging through the details and some new warrants tonight. And Bo Beth, what can you tell us about this tragic situation? Well, the arrest warrant states that Asia Calabrese Lewis can be seen walking with her one year old named Nirvana to this retention pond behind me. She stays there for about six minutes, and then officials say that video shows her walking away without the child. About an hour and a half later, officers found her unresponsive. Yeah, we, we don't think it's accidental at this time. Sergeant Matt McGinnis with the Sandy Springs Police Department is talking about the recent death of one year old Nirvana. The child was found in a body of water um, that's concerning in and of itself. Whether it's an actual drowning or something else, we'll have to wait on some of that for the ME uh, to determine exactly what went on there. Sandy Springs Police tells us they arrived to Concourse Parkway after receiving a 911 call for some sort of disturbance. 11 Alive has confirmed with police that disturbance was the mother walking in the area naked. And police say when they made contact with Lewis, she said the child, one year old Nirvana, was dead in the bottom of a pool. And officials immediately began searching a nearby retention pond. According to the police, the mother said she was having a quote, some type of epic. We tried to determine exactly what was going on and what happened and how it happened. Ultimately, the investigation has led to the mother, uh, Asia Cabrice Lewis. Lewis is being charged with felony murder and first degree child cruelty. Actions that have parents like Exum who live in the area saying this entire ordeal has them in disbelief. Makes me sad. Makes me sad, sad for the child, for the mom. Not sure what the situation was, but it's hard for me to imagine that, especially because my daughter is one today, um, so it, it must have been a lot going on there. Now, so far, police have not released the cause of death, so we do not know if the child drowned or passed before or after being put in that water. Now, officials say the medical examiner will have to determine those details. Sending it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Bo Beth, an awful situation there. Thank you so much.